in this lecture i will discuss about uh, the merging of two ascending two ascending order linguist meaning that we have been given two ascending order linguist for example one of the linguist has the information 10 20 30 40 50 50 another linguist is having information 5 15 27 29 and uh, uh, we have to merge these two linguists to form a single ascending order linguist so for doing so let us consider that we have a third linguist and uh, the third linguist start with a null value means uh, initially in this linguist we do not have any node we take uh, a p pointer at the first node of the first linguist and a q pointer at the first node of second linguist now we are going to make a comparison between the information of p and information of q whichever is smaller will be added in the final linguist so since uh, uh, here 5 is less than 10 it means information of q is less than the information of p so the first element which is to be inserted in the ascending order linguist will be 5 having inserted this node we will increment the skew to point to the second node it means now q is at the second node in the second linguist we will again make a comparison between the information of p and q node and here we are finding that the information of p node is less than the information of q node so now we are going to insert 10 in the final linguist and since 10 has been added from the first linguist so p is incremented by 1 fine now we are again going to make a comparison between p and q in this case p is is having less information than q oh, sorry q is having less information than p So 15 is added from the second linguist in the final linguist. Now, since we have taken the information from the second linguist, so Q is incremented by one. Means Q Q now points to the next node in the second linguist. Now, again comparing P with Q, information P is less than information Q. So we will add the information 20 from the first linguist, and P is incremented. to the next node in the first linguist now again p and q are compared p is at node 30 q is at node having information 25 25 is smaller than 30 so 25 is added in the final linguist and q is incremented to point to the next node again when p and p and q were compared information q is less than the information of p so 27 is added in this link list then when we compare this 29 with 30 29 is 29 is smaller so 29 is added in the final link list now the moment we uh, insert 29 in the final link list and increment q q crosses the second link list it means q becomes null while insertion of the 29 q was there at the last node and once q has been given an increment to point at the next node q becomes null so the moment q becomes null we will take all the information of the first linguist one by one and will add in the final linguist because now the comparison between the first and the second linguist is not possible so we will add all the information of the first linguist which are remaining in the second linguist uh, in the final linguist now this could have happened with the uh, second linguist also that the first linguist had ended up and there are some of the nodes which are remaining in the first linguist uh, in the second linguist so we could have added second linguist nodes one by one in the final linguist so this is the way we will do the programming of the merging of two ascending order linguists so suppose this is the uh, program in this program we have to create a merge ascending order linguist uh, function before doing so we will create 
two ascending order linked list so two ascending order linked list are considered as the uh, considered having uh, the addresses as start 1 and start 2 initially start 1 and start 2 both are null we're taking a start 3 also that's that is also null initially let's declare the start 3 and then create the linked list ascending order linked list having information 10 20 30 40 and 50 and then the second linked list having information 5 15 27 and 29 after having created this ascending insertion ascending order uh, linked list let's traverse these two linked lists to find out if uh, these two linked lists are working fine and after this call a function merge ascending order linked list pass the parameters start 1 and start 2 which are the addresses of the first node of both the ascending order linked list let's say this merging ascending or merge ascending order linked list returns a pointer to the ascending order linked list except that in start 3 and finally we will traverse this ascending order linked list so let's traverse start 3 Now in the uh, merge ascending order linked list, the addresses of start one and start two were passed to ascending order linked list. We are expecting that in list one and list two. Let's take a list three from our side, which will be storing the elements of uh, uh, elements after the comparisons. Let's take P and Q, as we have already discussed here in the procedure. p will be taking the address of first node in the first ascending order linked list q will be taking the address of the first node in the second ascending order linked list so p equals to list 1 and q equals to list 2 and after this the comparison between the nodes so we will do the comparison only till the time the comparisons are possible so while p is not null and q is not equal to null we're going to make the comparisons so if p dot info is less than q dot info we will insert this information of p in the final linked list in this case the final linked list is list 3 so we will pass the address of list 3 and we'll add the information of p since the information has come from the first linked list so p will be incremented to point at the next node if the information would have come from the second linked list or the information of q would have been less than the information of the first linked list node then we will add the information of q node and we would have incremented this q So here we are making a comparison between the information of P and Q node. Whichever is less is added. Less is added to the final linked list. And mind it that we are inserting the uh, node at the end of list three. Obviously, next information that we will get will be more than the current node's information. So uh, uh, we are going to insert the node in the end because we have to create the ascending order linked list. Fine. Uh, once this uh, comparison are possible once this comparisons are possible by the time the comparisons are possible then only we will be comparing p and q information if the comparisons are not possible then while p is not equal to null 
we'll be adding information of all the nodes which are remaining in the first link list one by one in the final link list. So insertion in the end of list three, the information of P and incrementing P by one. Not P by one, but uh, incrementing P to point to the next thing. If uh, P or if the first link list has ended and there are some of the nodes which are remaining in the second link list, then we will add those information in the final link list. But at a time, either this loop will run or this loop will run. Let us suppose first link list has ended up. So this entry condition will fail because P has become null. So entry condition has failed. But this loop will run because Q would be pointing at the valid node. Now, if Q has become null, then this will, this will be working. The first loop will be working. So either of these two loops will be working at a time. And finally, when my work has been done, I will return the address of the first node in the final link list. So this list 3 has been accepted in star 3 and let us now traverse this star 3 to find out if my link list is correct. So now you can see that the first link list is having information 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Second link list is having information 5, 15, 25, 27, and 29. And finally, the link list is in the second sequence. You can see this function again merging of ascending order link list. Addresses of the first node of both the link lists are passed. They are accepted in P and Q pointers. They are taking a third link list, list 3. And by the time P is not null and Q is not null, we are making a, a comparison between P and Q nodes. Whichever is a smaller, a smaller is added in the final link list at the end. Once the comparisons have ended up and comparisons are not possible, we will be adding the remaining nodes of either of the link list in the final link list. And finally, we will return the address of the first node of the ascending order. Thank you.